Hello everyone and welcome aboard the Lean 56. We're very happy and excited to present to you today exclusively this new model. It's the first of its kind in the world, but not only that, it's the first travel trimaran with hybrid motorization. Now this live presentation will take place in three parts. We will begin with the genesis of the Lean Trimaran project with Eric Brunel, who is the president of the NIL group, and also Bernard Nivet, who is the architect of this range. We will then visit the Lean 56 in more detail in the company of Eric Brunel and Offley Pierdieu, who is the design office manager, and also Benjamin Bossier, who is the production manager of the Lean Trimorans. Finally, we will be accompanied by the sales team, Oliver Carres, who is the sales manager, and Mayo Fiole, who is the sales assistant. Now, they'll discuss with us about the different programming of the Lean 56, but not only that, they'll discuss with us about the owner profile, of whom I'm sure some of you will be watching today. Now, since the live broadcast and we have been inundated with questions from the social network, and we will endeavor and try to answer all your questions during the show. But in the meantime, if you have any questions or points not raised during the show, please can you email them to sales at lean-trimorans.com and they'll be answered individually after the show. So without further ado, let's go and join Eric Brunel and Bernard Nevet to allow them to explain in more detail what's behind this genesis and wonderful adventure of the Lean 56. Hello Eric and hello Benar. Um, Eric, I'll come to you first. You are the president of the Neil Trimoran Group, um, also the creator of the shipyard and also the designer of these innovative models. Now, first of all, the sailing range. Um, the Neil Trimorans, and now the motor range, um, the Lean Trimorans. So, in a few words, can you sort of like tell us a little bit about your company history? Yeah, our company is located in La Rochelle, it's mm -hmm. in France. Uh, we've been building boats now for uh, more than 30 years total if we uh, look at the experience of the managers of the company. But we created specifically uh, Neil Tramorans uh, 11 years ago. Okay. Uh, we are now building about 32 boats uh, per year. Uh, the company employs 120 people. We've got factories, very modern factories uh, of more than 6,000 uh, square meters. Okay. And we became the world leader in production of uh, cruising trimarans. So we've been very active on the sailing range, on the Neil Tramarans uh, range, and mm -hmm. now we start the uh, Lean Tramaran range. Mm -hmm. Bernard Nivelt, our naval architect, uh, came back to us about a year and a half ago and mm -hmm. uh, tell us to think about a power trimaran, because according to Bernard, those trimaran, this configuration was making a lot of sense for uh, voyaging. The idea is to have a long range uh, trimaran, uh, very energy efficient. So uh, this is what we've developed uh, with uh, Lean. Thank you, Eric, for this comprehensive uh, presentation. I now turn to you, Bernard Nivet. You are therefore the historical architect of the shipyard. Um, I know that you, with your partner, who unfortunately is now deceased, uh, Michel Joubert, you designed three of the sailing range and now two of the lean range, the lean 56 and the lean 72. For the interior design, you were accompanied by Pierre Fetsu, uh, who unfortunately can't be with us today. Um, but can you tell us a little bit more about the advantages of the lean trimaran? Okay, as explained Eric just minutes before, I was very pleased with the performances of the sailing boat. Mm -hmm. And I told myself, why don't we use that on the power boat? What's common with all the boats is uh, pitching and rolling at seas. Yeah. So, in order to to be uh, very efficient in those conditions, we have to design the boat in a certain way. Pitching is a direct function of weight distribution 
in longitudinal and rolling in transverse. For the longitudinal uh, pitching, we have uh, the weight right in the middle of the boat, what we call uh, the longitudinal center of buoyancy. And we design hull with a very high prismatic coefficient in order to stop pitching. Okay. About transverse stability, called also rolling, mm -hmm. we need the same characteristic. In other words, to keep the weight in the middle of the boat. If you compare, for instance, with a catamaran, mm -hmm. you have only two hull, so you have no other way than to split the load or the weight, heavy weight on equipment on port on starboard. In our case, everything in, is in the middle, mm -hmm. and when we are going offshore, especially in beam seas, the boat has a much smoother rolling period, which makes the boat much more comfortable. On top of that, when you are mooring, say, in a place where you got some swell, mm -hmm. the boat will be more comfortable than any other boat. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much for that. Um, and how does the Lean 56 um, measure up in terms of consumption. Here again, because of uh, the long and thin hull, we have uh, very little wave drag. In other words, we are not creating much big waves. Mm -hmm. And we ended up with uh, burning no more than two liters per mile, around nine knots in the normal seas, I would say. Right, okay. And in very flat water, we uh, can also use the electrical engine, but uh, Benjamin will tell more about that. Okay, fantastic. Well, again, thank you, Bernard, for this precious information. Um, Eric, um, can you give us some more information on the manufacturing methods of the motorized trimarans? Yeah, for building the uh, lean trimarans, we uh, decided to uh, uh, use a technique that we master very well. We uh, infuse uh, flat panel on plugs mm -hmm. and then shape them in formers. Uh, that's perfectly adapted to the long and thin hull that Bernard has designed with a very pronounced uh, V-shape to go through the waves. Mm -hmm. uh, and our teams have been using this technique for uh, more than six years now because we've built a number, about a dozen uh, dead charter multi using that technique. Uh, and we use a combination of glass and Kevlar uh, fibers mm -hmm. because this boat designed to voyage may hurt some type of piece of wood or a little bit the ground. So we want that hulls to be very strong. So this is uh, what we do for the lean uh, range. Great. Well, again, thank you, Eric, for this exciting information. Um, the boat looks terribly well thought out and extremely well designed. And the concept is incredible. Um, but would you still make any major clarifications um, to this wonderful concept? Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely focus on energy saving, energy efficiency, because we want very long range. Right. I'm not talking about only 500 or 1,000 miles autonomy. I mean, we are definitely uh, thinking about crossing the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So this vessel, the Lean 56, carries 5,000 liters of diesel, right, okay. plus the electrical propulsion mm -hmm. that also uh, is designed to save energy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this vessel uh, gently cruise from uh, France to Boston and just needs to refuel in Azores. Okay. Well, thank you both for this wonderful and valuable explanation. I now propose for you to discover in detail the Lean 56 and what it has in store for you. Eric, we meet on the impressive flybridge. Um, what a space and what a view. It's absolutely breathtaking. Um, before we visit the boat outside, can you tell us a little bit more about the flybridge? Yeah, we, we designed this uh, very large flybridge to, first of all, get a 360 degrees view. I mm -hmm. mean, from here, we can enjoy a lot 
uh, sailing and maneuvering. Mm -hmm. So uh, this large flybridge measuring more than um, 34 square feet meters which right. is more or less 340 square feet so mm -hmm. it's quite large mm -hmm. uh, basically it's um, about three sections the forward section is dedicated to uh, navigation we've got the helm and all the instruments especially uh, the screen where we can see uh, the sides of the boat and the stern uh, on cameras to make mm -hmm. sure that we can uh, do a very precise maneuvering in harbors mm -hmm. or marinas. Uh, this forward section is covered by a fixed uh, bimini top uh, welcoming the electronics, the antenna, the radars, mm -hmm. but also the solar panel to be totally uh, in full autonomy while anchored. Those solar panels just bring enough energy to uh, uh, stay at anchor without running uh, any engine. Uh, obviously, under the shade of that fixed bimini top, the owner can choose accommodation. I mean, sofas, armchairs, mm -hmm. uh, chairs. Uh, the mid section is totally open to uh, to the sun, mm -hmm. and again, this is an area where we can just adjust this uh, area to the need of the owner mm -hmm. and the aft section is where we store the dinghy and we maneuver the dinghy uh, with uh, the hydraulic crane. One question that springs to mind, how do you you know walk around the, the, the Lean 56 and also the safety features um, during rough, rough seas whilst cruising? Yeah, yeah David, very important. So we designed uh, very safe and protected way of walking around the boat. So first of all we've got that door from the wheelhouse that can connect uh, the gangways very safely mm -hmm. and the gangways, the covered gangways, always protect the crew uh, from uh, the rain, from rough seas. Okay. Uh, we've got and rail all around and we designed very flat decks so it's very easy and safe to walk all around and always being protected from the weather. Basically, right. Bernard Nivelt has um, given a lot of thought to the innovation is with the hulls. Right. But as far as the way of living on board, mm -hmm. uh, I'm very pleased that he used what the um, classical kind of trawler found before us in, to in terms of the position and design of the wheelhouse, mm -hmm. of the accommodation aft, and with covered uh, gangways all around. When you go far abroad with the Lean 56, you know, I'm sure that lots of people take lots of different types of materials and equipment. So where, where can they actually be stored on the Lean 56? So, yeah, down below, uh, we've got three very big storage area. One forward, perfect for fenders and uh, uh, brush and what we need to mm -hmm. clean the boat. Mm -hmm. Then, aft of both floats, we've got a very, very big garage right. that can welcome any kind of equipment, workshop, uh, inflatable, uh, uh, paddles. Okay. Those big garage can even welcome uh, crew cabins. So we've right. got full headroom and it's about three meters long. Mm -hmm. And under uh, the uh, steps uh, going to the flybridge, from the cockpit to the flybridge, mm -hmm. we also have an easy access day uh, storage locker. Right. Thank you very much, Eric, for this guided outdoor tour, um, which has been very impressive and obviously well thought of with the Lean 56. Now, we will go below to the saloon and the engine room with the design office manager and the production manager of the Lean 56. Well, hello, Offaly, and hello, Benjamin. Um, here we are in the saloon. It's very cozy and bright on the Lean 56. Um, what a soothing atmosphere. Um, Offaly, I'll be talking to you first. Um, you are the head of design at Neil Trimorans, and if I'm correct, you're the direct link between the architect's plans and also the plans of the production that makes this beautiful boat. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about the main and remarkable points of the Lean 56? 
Well, David, I can confirm to you the Lean 56 is unique and mm -hmm. the volume capacities that offer a trimaron are really immense. So to start here on the same level, you will find an exceptional honors cabin. This suite is organized on two levels mm -hmm. that will guarantee you absolute comfort and privacy. The bedroom and office area are located on the main deck on the same level mm -hmm. and are directly accessible from the saloon from where we are right now. Okay. And the bathroom area is located on the lower level in the float, directly accessible from the cabin. As you can see, the generous cabin area includes a double island bed, a library, a desk area, and numerous storage spaces. Thanks to large side openings, mm -hmm. the cabin is bright and well ventilated, giving you that first class panoramic view. And more, the height quality and light color wood panelings gives your cabin a very elegant atmosphere. What is really unique here, David, is to have one float and one space on the deck that are dedicated to the owner. This makes your dream uh, come true, really, and it's very privatized on the ground floor. Um, but what are the special features that you find on Lean 56 that you do not find elsewhere? Well, the wheelhouse is a place that I particularly appreciate because you really find here all the codes of the ocean cruising yacht. For example, you have all the instruments of navigation that are grouped together here for better functionality, like the slider that gives a direct access to the outside deck. The wheelhouse is a real social and comfortable space. Trust me, you will no longer be alone at the helm because everyone can take a seat with you mm -hmm. to follow the road, but also to take a moment for relaxation in this comfortable lounge where you can always keep an eye on the instruments on board. And the view, the panoramic view is really sublime. Wow. One thing to know on this boat is that the rest of the boat's layout depends on the owner's choice. On this boat, for example, we have two other double guest cabins, each with its own private bathroom. Okay. Well, can you tell us a, a little bit more about the, the choice of materials? Um, because the level of finish, it's, it's clear to see that it's of a very high standard and I think also very carefully thought out. Yes, that's true. With Pierre Frucci, our designer, we thought an atmosphere that is both elegant and comfortable with clean lines, natural light and maximum visibility to the outside. That's why we designed the furniture in light wood mm -hmm. and with high quality materials. Okay, superb. Well, thank you very much, Anfali, for the lighting and may I say bravo for this wonderful and beautiful arrangement. Um, I now turn to you, Benjamin. Um, you're the production manager of the Lean Trimorants. You're in charge of the production of this new line. Um, could you tell us more about the motorization of the Lean? Yes, um, but maybe just before into um, technical explanation, I think it's important to speak a little bit about the engine room, which is, as you know, a very important place on motorboat. Um, so in the Lean 56, uh, the engine room is located in the center of the central hull and it gathers all the main uh, heavy and technical equipment on board. Mm -hmm. And this is a very good point for the stability of the boat in, uh, in navigation. Right, okay. Yes. Also, we have uh, designed this technical area to be very spacious and uh, easy to access for maintenance and inspection. Right. Um, and you know, this is a very good illustration about the Lean philosophy, which is always to base our products on simple, robust, and accessible technology. Okay, super, brilliant. So indeed, it's a real asset. Um, but what about the motorization of the hybrid trimer? Yes, everybody wants to know a lot about the uh, Lean motorization. Mm. And indeed, we have built it um, combining thermal and electric energy with three engines. Uh, in the central hull, we have the main engine, the thermal motors, uh, which is provided by Cummins and mounted in direct shaft line. Its function is to ensure the propulsion of the boat uh, with mm -hmm. a very low consumption at stable speed, between uh, nine and 10 knots, mm -hmm. over a long cruising period. 
and in the side throat we have the auxiliary propulsions with mm -hmm. two motors for three uh, big functions. Right. The first function is to arrive or leave an anchorage silently mm -hmm. or visit protected area without emissions. Okay. Uh, the second function, of course, is to ensure the perfect and very easy maneuverability in ports. The last function can be to uh, provide a, a backup to the main thermal engines. Okay. But which is important to know about the motorization is that uh, these two propulsion systems, thermal and electric, are is issued from um, professional mechanics. And we have adapted it to the yachting. And this results in less wear, less maintenance, and increased a lot efficiency of the boat. Great. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Benjamin, again, for the in-depth explanations. Could you tell us a little bit more about the energy architecture of the Lean 56, please? Yes, um, indeed. Energy management system has been a very important point for, for Lean from uh, the beginning of the project. And with our long-term strategic partners, we have wor worked a lot on this question. And now we can offer to the Lean uh, great flexibility and uh, very important assets. Mm -hmm. um, for example, at Encore, we have um, more than 24 hours of total autonomy to enjoy all the different equipment available on board. Mm -hmm. um, another asset, which is becoming more and more important today, is that in navigation, in full electric mode, uh, we have something like one hour at five knots of autonomy, and this without emission, with zero emission, which is very interesting. Mm. Um, in addition, we have also a very fast battery recharge with our lithium battery, which only takes 1.5 hours with a generator to recharge, and then you, ca you can enjoy another cycle of total autonomy. Oh. I have also to say that all this uh, energy management system uh, permits to the Lean a true hybrid navigation mode. And indeed, it is possible to start the generator in navigation and operate on the electric propulsion without time limits. And you know this is an interesting alternative to the thermal engines on long uh, cruising periods. Okay. Maybe to conclude this part, we can say that uh, all these different uh, Mode of operations offer, offers, that, uh, as I said, uh, great flexibility, mm -hmm. but at the same time, um, ensures that all onboard mechanical systems are always operating within their optimum performance. And this is a key requirement uh, for true and new exploration vessels. Right, fantastic. Well, thank you again, Benjamin, for those very clear explanations. Um, on the motorization of the Lean 56, but there is also more and more talk uh, about the option of multiplexing. Um, what, ex what exactly is, is multiplexing? Um, yes, multiplexing, that is, uh, that is an interesting option, yeah. Uh, multiplexing is the heart of equipment interconnectivity and control on board. Uh, this new technology offers the possibility of being constantly informed of all data, of all onboard data from various sources, mm -hmm. and all this within a single medium. And all this information are organized on a user-friendly way on two screens. One is located just here, behind you at the helm station, and the second one up at the flying bridge. And that's why, David, multiplexing is very nice because uh, easy access to accurate data is a key to bring uh, usability, comfort and safety to a new level. Thank you both for this complete visit. Um, now, I propose for us all to meet the sales team of the Lean Trimorans, Olivia Carras and Mail Fioli. <laughs> I am pleased to be accompanied on this stage by Olivia Karras, who is the Sales Director at Lean Trimorans, and also Mayo Feo, the Sales Representative. Um, so, Olivia, we've just visited this superb vessel. Um, it's very impressive indeed. So, can you tell us a little bit more about the actual sailing program, and who is the Lean 56 for? Isn't it a vessel? Um, exclusively for exploration? 
Oh, no, 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 it's not, it's not exclusively. Th this question uh, was uh, at the heart of the subject when we started with this uh, project. And we didn't want to lock ourselves in a single program. We clearly identify uh, three different uh, types of uh, programs. Uh, who are uh, firstly the power uh, multiple uh, market, mm -hmm. secondly uh, explorer and troller uh, vessels, mm -hmm. and thirdly uh, the traditional uh, motor yacht uh, market. Okay. I have to explain. With the multiple uh, power market, this market is growing quickly. Uh, and uh, the owners are looking for space and stability. Mm -hmm. The Lean Trimmer range offers this already. But in addition, uh, we offer more on uh, uh, stability, uh, innovative wool, mm -hmm. and uh, energy efficiency, and uh, hybrid propulsion. And finally, the owners uh, are looking for finishing uh, uh, qualities mm -hmm. and uh, a very uh, nice design uh, on, on board. The Lean 56 offer already this. Well, thank you, Olivia, for your clear answers. Um, now, this next question is for you, Mel. Um, which comes naturally to me. Um, I just would like to know, I'm sure our viewers would as well, what is the typical owner of a Neil Trimaran, and what type of profile are we looking at? Uh, at Lean Trimaran, we are more looking at uh, a plural uh, owner's profile because it's coming from the adventurer wishing to discover like remote uh, places uh, of the globe to mm -hmm. the blue water cruising enthusiasts who want to go in the Bahamas, for example, mm -hmm. uh, to the owners who want to discover peacefully in the Mediterranean grounds. So uh, the Lean owner's profile is uh, really plural mm -hmm. and there is a Lean for each program. Right, okay. So is the, is the Lean Trimaran's range um, part of what we, could be, what we could call the best of both worlds? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Choosing a Lean is to make the choice of no compromise. It's starting from the space on board with this amazing flybridge that we saw just before. Mm -hmm. And for example, this owner cabin on the ground floor, the big sidewalks all around the boat. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the best advantage of the trimer on the space on board, so you make no compromise on that. But also on the propulsion, with the hybrid propulsion, you make no compromise because the hybrid mm. propulsion, as Benjamin said also, is uh, efficiently in all the mode of use, from zero to 12 knots, crew cruising, everything is efficient with this hybrid propulsion. Right. But also, as I said, you make no compromise on your cruising plan because we have an amazing versatility on the sailing program, mm -hmm. which is great. Okay, fantastic. So concerning all the innovations on the boat, um, don't you think the potential buyers are maybe a little bit worried? Definitely, and rest assured, at <laughs> Neil Trimans Group, <laughs> our DNA is precisely to innovate with a reliable and intelligent solution. It's really important. Okay. And in more than 10 years, we have become the world leaders in the Trimaran offshore sector. Okay, so um, I think we are therefore reassured <laughs> for sure. Um, but tell me, these yachts are intended to be del to be delivered um, to all the continents. Um, I think what I'm really looking at here is um, the solutions concerning the follow-up and also the technical maintenance. H how will you actually, c you know, control that? It's a really great question. A lot of customers are asking this because the, our boats are. Um, made to sail across the world. Mm -hmm. So first, in the sourcing and in the installation of the equipment, we have chosen to favor reliable solution with easy maintenance. It's really important okay. in order that to get the best services all around the world. Uh, one thing is really important is that we can rely on an international network of mm -hmm. service providers mm -hmm. who will ensure the technical follow-up of your yachts all around the world. Right, okay, great. Well, thank you very much, Olivier. And thank you, Mel, um, for all these, you know, precisions in, in the answering of, your qu of, of my questions. Now, I'm sure many of you watching would like to know, really, how can they see and try a Lean 56? Um, can you tell us when and where it's possible to visit the trimarans?
Yes. But because uh, of the COVID uh, situation, uh, it's difficult to imagine what happened. Uh, so the, the boat shows uh, may not take place. Mm. Uh, we would like to exhibit the boat in uh, September in Mediterranean, in Cannes, in Yacht Festival uh, boat show, if the show happens. We are more than happy to welcome our clients here in La Rochelle because we have the boat in demo. Mm -hmm. So we can welcome everyone at any time in La Rochelle and make a sea trial, boat visit, and even a yard visit, which is really interesting. Okay. And also in the meantime, for all our uh, international clients who want to discover these boats uh, really quickly, mm -hmm. we can organize a private virtual visit, which is really amazing. Even from your sofa, you can watch the boat like at Super. a boat show. So it's mm -hmm. really great. Mm -hmm. And we can also organize, you know, meeting with Zoom, WhatsApp video, everything is possible to well discuss their program and uh, introduce them the, the Lean 56 and all in uh, range. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. And I thank you for watching this live presentation of the Lean 56.